Hey guys, hi. This is Abhishek, Master Digital of Pizza at Vedantu. How are you living in your life? So, it's tip top, it's first class. I hope it is. So, guys, we finally have our NCRT Solution Series for the entire CBC 9th in the last session. We have every chapter of CBC 9th in the textbook, 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 in the This is really proud that you are finishing off one more amazing series for all of you guys. So today we are going to do question number 19, 20 and 21, the last three questions of the work energy and power chapter. I hope all of you guys have been enjoying this series. Do let me know in the comment section how much fun it is. And moving ahead, what are we going to do today? And anyhow, anyhow, for everyone who is new to the channel, who do not know whether we have completed the entire syllabus or not, people, we have completed the entire syllabus of work energy and power, so is force and Laws of motion, everything. Okay. So scientific work, candy energy, potential energy, law of conservation energy, power, doubts and mentality, all these things have been done in chapter. So check out these videos on our homepage with the playlist. If in case you don't know how to go about it, just search on YouTube along with Abhishek sir in the name, uh, in the you know search and you'll find out all these videos. So do not worry about it. Okay. Now let's move on to the next, 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 next important thing. If you want to join us with us for long term pro subscription, where you will have all your doubt solving, all your tests, all your assignments, all your tests, all your tests, all your assignments, uh, you know, interactive classes with high level quizzes, competing with students throughout the world. And if you have all these amazing, amazing, amazing things, then make sure that you go to the link vdnt.com.ytpro. Check out, it will be fun, it will be fun, and you can take a subscription of one of them. Coupon code is AK Pro, even if you decide on enrolling. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Sony says that the acceleration in an object could be zero even when several forces are acting on it. Do you agree with her? Absolutely yes, whenever an object is in a uniform motion. If an object is in a uniform motion, uniform motion means that the object's speed and velocity is constant, but the object is moving. If it's moving, it means that the force is applied on it. Correct? In uniform motion, the object is when the total net forces are zero on that object. Meaning, the motion in the forward direction is the force on the object in the forward direction is equal to the force on the object in the backward direction and left and right and everything. The classical example would be when an aircraft is flying at a uniform rate in the sky where the lift of the aircraft is equal to the weight of the aircraft and the thrust of the aircraft is equal to the drag, the air friction of the aircraft. And that's a very classical example. So yes, Sony is absolutely correct. Aage but the next question may find the energy in kilowatt hour consumed in 10 hours by 4 divisor of power 500 watt each. Kaafi simple ka sawaal, aapko yaha pe energy nikaal liya, energy ka formula hota hai aapka. Energy is equal to power into time. Yaha pe power aapko diya hua hai 500 watt into time aapko diya hua hai 10 ghande. Agar aap isse convert karoge, 5 to 10 you will get 5000 watt hour. ठीक है लेकिन यहाँ पे ये जो 5000 वॉट है इसे हमें कन्वर्ट करना पड़ेगा किलो वॉट आर में थोड़ा प्रोफेशनल टच होगा तो दैट वुड बी 5 किलो वॉट आर है ना सिंपल सी बात है बट दिस इज द एनर्जी ऑफ वन डिवाइस आपके पास चार डिवाइसेस हैं तो आप क्या करोगे इसको चार से मल्टीप्लाई कर दोगे यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी किलो वॉट आर इज दी करेक्ट आंसर दैट्स इट दैट्स हाउ सिंपल दी क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम नाइन ग्रेट अब आगे बढ़ते तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A freely falling object eventually stops on reaching the ground. What happens to its kinetic energy? That's a beautiful question. जब एक ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे गिरता है, तो इसके अंदर जो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी था, that converts down into kinetic energy. With this kinetic energy, when it hits the ground, क्या होती है? जब भी कोई ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे गिरती है, क्या होती है भाई? So let's spend को नीचे गिरा के देखते हैं क्या होता है, ठीक है? Damn. आवाज आई? Correct. So जब भी एक ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे गिरती है, तो उसकी kinetic energy इस sound energy में convert ह and also the energy converts into a bit of heat as well. जो ये जब भी कोई चीज़ टकराती है तो friction create होता है friction वजह से heat भी generate होती है. So heat energy और you know sound energy में ये kinetic energy convert हो जा रही है. That's how easy the topics are. So everything I have mentioned in detail here you can download the PDF from the descriptions below. And I think that's it. That's it. We have completed the entire NCRT CBC 9 series completely. I have always enjoyed it. वैसे बात एक बहुत बढ़िया high five तो बनता ही है भाई. बनता ही है बनता ही है बनता ही है बनता ही है. Hi, five to everyone, people. Thank you so much for all your love and support for the entire channel. Thank you so much for that. Hit the like button if in case you haven't yet. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon, and enjoy all the videos which are there on this channel for you all. Okay? Till the next session, man. Until then, this Abhishek signing off for today. Enjoy your life. Stay home, stay safe, and stay strong. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.